a game to physically prepare? So before a game, we do a game called Sui, which is a soccer game. And after that, we will do stretches such as like knee pulls, um, you know, high knees, something like that. And then we'll do some sprints, uh, karaoke, a lot like that. And then once we're warmed up, we go inside and start getting dressed. Okay, and then what do you do to mentally prepare for a game? So for mentally preparation, we do, we listen to music, and while listening to music, we think about our game and what we're going to do, like, um, you know, I, I mean, passing, shooting, just thinking about what plays we're going to run, and yeah, that's what we do. because they need to be strong on the puck. Uh, it's gonna help them develop, if they're developing their speed up here, if they can get faster off the ice, they're gonna, that transfer, that speed's gonna transfer to their on ice performance. Leg strength is a big one. If we can get their, their explosive power in their legs, if we can get them jumping higher, if we can get them sprinting faster, if we can get them maybe squatting a little bit more weight, that's gonna transfer to like the force production on the ice when they're going through their strides or when they're taking that slap shot, they're gonna have that power kind of built up in their legs to be able to generate a little bit more force. Okay, what strengths do you have to have to be a hockey player? Like, what muscles are? Uh, I mean, truthfully, everything. I mean, you need your upper body to be strong. Most people think, oh, just work on your legs, work on your legs. Your legs is all you're gonna need. But I mean, if you want to be able to take a hit, give a hit, you're still gonna need some upper body strength, especially with injury prevention. I mean, you wanna, if you're landing on your shoulder, you don't want to have any. You want to have some cushion. So if you're building a little bit more muscle or you're a little bit stronger, you're gonna be able to take those hits and absorb those hits a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I would say just overall you need to, legs need to be strong, upper body needs to be strong, everything needs to be strong for that. What different types of drills do you use in a practice? Well, we break our practice down into segments that cover uh, various areas. One would be uh, individual skills, one would be team skills, and then another would be systems. Um, an example would be uh, personal skills would be things like puck handling, skating techniques, things of that nature, edge work techniques, things of that nature, edge work. Team skills would be things like uh, with teammates making plays. Uh, systems would be more uh, what we call the X's and O's of a game. Why is it important for to practice a system instead of just knowing what to do in a game? Well, a system is a system. It's not a person. So it's, it's a collaborative... Um, Effort. So, uh, particularly in hockey, hockey has got five skaters at a time, uh, all working as one. It's important for all the players to know what their responsibilities are and to be able to know what all the other teammates' responsibilities are. So, if um, a person has the puck, um, you may sometimes hear people say they have eyes behind their head. They really don't have eyes behind their head. What they do have is the knowledge of where their teammates are supposed to be and supporting them. And so that's why it's very important to practice that so that they all know where to be, when they need to be there, and how to support each other.